Hello, this is Yoon Gun, and today I'm going to introduce how to extract the 3D path from my phone and from my drone. Uh, recently, I uploaded my uh, DJI FPV video that I was flying over the rice field and it just crashed into the rice field. And I was quite curious why did this happen? Was there any like failures in my uh, FPV or was I too vertical? Like, what was the problem? So, let's see the video. See, like, I was like vertically going down and then I was trying to pitch up, but it just plunged into the rice field. So, I was very curious what happened. So, I asked to my physics friend, a uh, physics professor, and he, he calculated that maybe there were some uh, angular problems, like something like that. But I really wanted to see and analyze the, uh, and I extracted the files. And that experience I'm trying to share to your guys and try to visualize in this kind of 3D uh, path and which is gonna make you understand what happened that day. That time, this is South Korea at uh, last month, I was flying at the rice field when I was taking a vacation. And then this is what you can see. This is the last path of my DJI FPV when it was flying. That day, I flew vertical up in normal mode, and I transited. I trans transited to manual mode, and I started flying about like six kilometers of flight that day. And then it was flying and flying, and then in the end, I crashed at that spot, that coordinate. It's, it's very exact. And it shows very accurate uh, 3D coordinates. So, isn't this really cool to see the FPV? The flight path you can see, visualize it and circle it around and orbit around in 3D mode in Google Earth. And once you start to fly these kind of uh, drones, a lot of people ask you to uh, make videos for them, take a footage, take a videos at the very big land when they are trying to develop. So one company asked me to take a footage, uh, take a video footage of this land which they were trying to develop. And it was a resort project, so I flew. But I was very curious: where is my drone flying at? How am how am I gonna explain to my client where you're looking at? So I tr I made this uh, animated key map with this view box in yellow triangle shape. So when you make this kind of animated key map in Adobe Premiere, this is end of story. If you just give this video files to your client, they never ask you a question where, where are you looking at? They never ask that kind of question. So uh, in the following two videos, I will introduce how to make this animated key map for your very important projects. Okay, first today, let's um, on this video, let's try to focus on how to upload uh, your uh, files to the Google Earth and then uh, extract the files and just to make this 3D path. But before that, let's try to put it side by side with the YouTube videos and this 3D path. But let's try to see whether this was accurate or not. See, I was like in a manual mode in the FPV. I was like turning around. And then you can see that I was uh, going toward that uh, greenhouse at the, at the at that, like 12 o'clock. And I was turning, I was going up and down, and then I was evading the telephone electric wire, wires. And then I went up and I went down and turned left here and I circled around. You can see that uh, road, which is same in Google Earth. And then I went down again, and then I went to the left, and you can see the path is quite accurate. So that must be the exact height shown in the 3D path. This is almost the same as the video, as you can see. And then I was flying, and then I turned to the right, and you can see this three roads, which is right there, Google Earth. And then I turned right, and then I went up and down, and then I turned to my right. And then from that time, I was feeling very confident on myself. I was flying very well, so I felt, ooh, I'm really flying well. Okay, so this is so great, okay. So I can fly basic flight, so let's try to go up and let's try to plunge down, which I always simulated and lift up program. So I was very happy. So I went up to the sky as much I can. And this, you can see in the 3D path. And then I went, I plunged in and vertical down. I was trying to go up, but there was a controlling problem. So I don't know why, but so we just plunged into the rise field. That happened. 
So I sent this video uh, requ uh, flight request to DJI and DJI found out that there was a problem with my uh, FPV so they concluded that it's not my fault so it was uh, the, uh, the drone's fault so they're going to send me for one for free which, which made me, it was really lucky for me. So he went to DJI uh, but to extract this kind of files you have to connect your phone to your PC and you have to extract this uh, file from a certain folder which is called flight workword. So you can see in this manual uh, when you send after service to the DJI they will send you how the manuals where to extract the files. Actually it's at your phone DJI DJI.gov5 flight record when you go inside this folder for like DJI FPV you have to extract it first and then you have to put it into your phone and then you can see that there is this kind of text file and you can see the exact date when I crashed. So when you remember, there's going to be like like hundreds of this text files if you fly for a hundred times. So you have to uh, find the exact date and time when you're flying. This file are made for each batteries. If you change the batteries, this text file is made again. So remember this and then, so if you fly like four times with one batteries, there's going to be only one text file. Okay, so with this text file, how to uh, transfer this is called app.airdata.com. And when you go, when you see it's free, you will see this kind of screen saying get started and drag and drop log files. So what you do is that you have to drag and drop, uh, drag and drop the files, just the text files you just copied. Just drag it there, and then you can see that it's about like 1.5 megabytes. And then you can see it's going, it's going to be unloaded. You can also put there multiple files, and then see, voila, you see the top view right there. So it's exact, like I was circling around and I went to the greenhouse and turned right. See, it's all the same, and I crashed at the end. So this is the same file that I'm, you're looking at. And you can also make a key map with this one. You can just print screen this and make us a key map from a top for the top view. So with this uh, 3D path, which is seen from the top view, you can put this uh, view box and then visualize this in an animated key map. So that's it. And you can see that uh, in this uh, DJ FPV, I flew for like 4 minutes and 49 seconds. And the batteries it started from 24 volts and then it reduced to 27 volts. And then I flew about like uh, 5,926 meters and blah, blah, blah. You can see all the data uh, for that day before the crash. And you can click everything, like details, equipment, notification. You will see the 3D coordinates where the drone was. And when you go to the power, you can see the battery's power because, like, if you fly with the low bat batteries, sometimes it will not have enough uh, enough power to pull it up when you're like vertically going down. So somebody was asking, was there any like batteries problem problems? But actually, it was not. You can see it's, it was all green. The signals were all in greens and batteries were all green. So that's why DJI analyzed these files and they said it's not my problem. There was some problem with the uh, drone. So that's why they decided to send me one for free. Mm. And then with the controls, they will also analyze was there any like problems in controls. Something like this. All these kind of datas, datas are inside the text file. So. It's very important and it's very fun to see for yourself well, how the, that the condition of the drone that day. And to download in, uh, in Google Earth, you have to download in KML format. If you download this like this, and you can see at the left corner, and then if you just click it, the Google, Google Earth will just load this uh, 3D path file and then it will visualize like this in a 3d program like this it's very easy right